Hello everyone, I'm Jyoti Joshi and you are watching Talk with Tops. Today we have with us Managing Director for Hitachi India, Mr. Bharat Kaushal. Welcome to the show, sir. Oh, thank you very much. As they say, the road to success is not easy. Tell us about the hardships and failures you had to go through in your career. I think I've, by training, I've been first identity is sportsman. So you learn to lose before you learn to win. And, uh, and that gets ingrained in your, you must be in pursuit. I, the two most important ingredients throughout your journey have to be perseverance and the courage to sort of withstand not getting recognition matching with your capability as one important thing. And the second most important thing is you have to have your heart in it. Exactly. So you may be, uh, I mean there will always be smarter people than you are, but you have to have your heart in it and that brings a lot of color and a lot of vigor to how you pursue and um, go about in succeeding, at least in the missions that you set for yourself. Well, I mean, there are many times that uh, you, will, you will think that this is maybe the target that I should achieve uh, at various points. I mean, I spent 25 years in financial services uh, uh, and, you know, the, it is a competitive environment. Many times uh, your institution, which you are responsible to be uh, taking the interests of, uh, will be challenged by those circumstances. Yeah, so there have been many big and small challenges that you do. I'm now CEO for in my 12th year uh, in one organization or the other. So that's my job of doing the firefighting when required. How did you overcome your failures and what were the lessons learned from it? I think you have to believe in them you have to believe in your mission. And so sometimes success will come a little bit more smoothly and sometimes it will take time or not come at all or elude you. So you have to, you have to pay attention to uh, the big picture as well as the clarity of granular execution steps both at the same time. What's the definition of success as per you? First of all, if you have really worked hard as an institution with the best intent, uh, it's 50% of what success path should be. You have worked, it will not go waste. It may not have delivered immediate result. However, in the world that we stay in, the profit uh, comes, becomes like the defining number. That what is the outcome of any particular activity you do, either in terms of image building, uh, reputation protection, leading from the front, being the first mover sometimes, that is success. Sometimes uh, it's quantifiable in terms of the profit that you earn and that's reflected on your results and balance sheet. And sometimes you do a lot of things for institutional building. So if your motivation level is higher, if your organization uh, is rated as one of the best places to work, I think in a leader, from a leadership perspective, that's equally a very big success. And uh, how much credit do you give to the education system in India? I think the, from an education system perspective, India makes you go through the grind. Uh, it's not easy and everyone around you uh, is uh, smarter than you or equally smart is an underlying presumption because many people are working hard. I'm talking about the when you're, when you're in the race, you have to be very uh, uh, very, very hard working and also intelligent in terms of how you choose your focus. Uh, that's what India teaches you and when you go to top schools, the reason why you see Indian students doing very well overseas is that the moment they get the right harnessing ground, they are already trained but it didn't maybe get the right opportunity mm -hmm. when they were still here. Uh, now increasingly in the past decade or so, or maybe two decades, the opportunities in India have also presented themselves very differently, maybe like never before. So you're seeing the benefit of Indian education system being realized more in India as well, outside of the government in a lot of the private sector initiatives. Uh, would you describe yourself as a risk taker, describe some of the risks that you have taken being an MD and what were the results? Well. If you're convinced of something, taking risk is not, uh, not the most difficult thing. It has to be 
forecasted risk it shouldn't be speculative and uh, you know when you when you when you make choices in investment banking for instance every moment is a making a choice both in terms of your priorities in terms of your returns and you can't have enough information to be completely predictable so the responsibility of taking that decision is yours and uh, many a times you 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 choose a direction and a focus uh, which may be outsmarted sometimes by technology or sometimes by more capital by other players because they believe in it much more and they are willing to invest at that point in time much more. So I think um, from my perspective, uh, risk is an integral part of decision making. I am a risk taker. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, in a Japanese organization, uh, you are more calculated in bu building a consensus that at least everyone's at the same page that this is our understanding of the risk. And that is very clear, that should be very clear, that broadly whatever you can see as the risks right. should be somewhere defined. If that is the case, then it's not risk taking as an adventure really. It's taking a business risk and business risk will run in business all the time. Uh, tell us a little about your company Hitachi. Can you share some key things that, you, uh, that your company is going to develop over the next few years? Well, I can say like this, that Hitachi is... Uh, uh, very, very strongly committed to India. It's one of the five regional headquarters for Hitachi globally. It's been in India for about 85 years now uh, and it has 31 companies present in India because they've evolved over a period of time. Mm -hmm. But broadly, if you want to classify, Hitachi is in infrastructure, whether it's uh, railway, power, water, steel, a uh, little bit uh, of capabilities in nuclear and defense as well. If you look at the sort of broad core areas, there's a lot of manufacturing, whether it's automotive or construction machinery, uh, power electronics, of course, metals and chemicals uh, and healthcare equipment. And the digital spree is where Hitachi is not just competing like an IT company, but it's about 100 years of legacy uh, as an operating technology company. So when it comes in the industrial IoT side hmm. or through a new phase, which is Hitachi MGRM, where we are doing all the Kindri Vidyalays, where we are getting into education, healthcare, agriculture type, life cycle, citizen centric services. That's where we are sort of doing bigger work. Uh, we already have a well established uh, payment platform uh, where we work with some of the top financial institutions in the country. Uh, we have provided a lot of the hardware support from GST and Aadhaar to Provident Fund and passport type sensitive areas. Uh, and uh, built e-seva e kendras in states okay. uh, and also provided real-time governance uh, to some of the states uh, which was also showcased at Davos and the World Economic Forum this year. Okay. Uh, how important is company culture to you and how do you maintain it? I think uh, company culture is uh, a, a kind of an equation. It must have capability. It must have uh, in an engineering manufacturing company, there's a lot of technology which is involved and therefore a lot of R&D which is involved so that you're not just leaving it at a product level, but you can map it in futurology and see where to take it from there. Uh, uh, but people are the most defining things. I mean, as we get more and more in technology and predictive tools, etc., you, you will constantly be under the pressure that you may not have at that point in time the best suited technology or the most uh, cost effective solution for any particular opportunity. But if you have right people, then the conversion ratio always improves on succeeding in business. Uh, tell us a little about your family, uh, their support in your life. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm forever... Uh, 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 I've forever been a family man. Okay. But at the same time, uh, I don't get enough time as anyone would like to, to spend. You know, your children are growing up, your wife is your best companion, your parents are uh, your biggest support. This whole ecosystem works right when they understand your aspiration and also your obligation or your duty towards your mission. And therefore, they will just let you be uh, focused mm. on that and not put... Uh, burdens on you which uh, which uh, which which take away more of your time and let's do most with the limited time that we have together uh, how do you unwind yourself share some of your hobbies 
Well, uh, I've continued to be a sportsman, but yeah. the format has taken is more than running and uh, working out without fail. Maybe in the past uh, 30 odd years, I've never rarely skipped a workout beyond my one day mandatory off in a week. Uh, and that physical fitness uh, keeps you mentally fit as well. Mm. So I, wherever I'm traveling, I'm, you can see me running in that city, yeah. uh, sometimes doing yoga because it's a more calming thing on your body and also on your mind. Uh, tell us a little about your competitors in the market and how do you differentiate yourself from them? Well, I'm not saying that all competition is uh, diverse of some of the values that we bring. But Japanese companies, uh, Hitachi for instance, mm. is wedded to the idea of transformation in the society. And therefore social innovation is our main motto, not a technology or a type of activity. Uh, but it's more to do with social innovation and to partner that. So sometimes profit takes longer to come because you know you're part of a larger growth mm. story and you're larger as a contributor to that. Uh, but within this, uh, it's extremely important as big organizations are almost as large as countries in eco as an economy. You have to have ethics at all times because the race of competition sometimes pulls you out of it very, very quickly. Okay. And it's attractive because the distance is not so long and maybe sometimes you are just using those things as an accelerator of your faster growth. But uh, you have to be mindful of ethics and you have to have empathy as an organization, both internally and outside. And that culture will show in how you do business because you have to be sensitive to the environment. So at last, a word of advice for the younger generation. Well, I think, uh, as I said very briefly, uh, India presents itself like an opportunity like not before and uh, never before. And uh, we are fortunate to be, I mean, the younger generation is fortunate to be uh, experiencing uh, this growth and uh, if as a young country we aspire to be a superpower I truly believe that that distance is not as long as it seems sometimes uh, in the many Indias that live in India uh, we are going to travel that distance much sooner uh, you have to take leadership uh, kind of a thought first managing expectations of the people you work for then the people you work with and eventually at a point where you will work for uh, manage expectations even of the team that you lead. Uh, recognition sometimes will take time in catching up with capability uh, and while opportunities are tremendous, uh, sometimes fear of failure is okay. also getting higher in a connected society. So you don't have to shy away and constantly keep the courage within you to be able to uh, put in your best I won't say in an organization that it's always possible for you to only stick to your idea of doing things, but you have to start defining yourself as an owner of whatever you're doing. And that mission is very, very critical for your own growth and for the organization's good. At last, thank you so much for taking out your precious time for us. It oh, was very nice Thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking to you. That's it. We could pack into this edition of the show. For more videos, subscribe to the channel Top News Networks.